there's another book review. I personally recommend this book for a lot of people. It takes you back to the their old days to a point. And you see, it's it. You see the name of who it is. You see what he's got. It's called Bushcraft 101. One of the good books by Dan Cranberry. This book's really good. I tested 97%. I don't have to take his course calls. He knows who Cody London is because he actually had to go against him on a TV show, Survival. And I grew up with Cody, so me and Cody actually knows the same thing, so we ain't doing nothing. But the book's really good. It teaches you about, about your backpack. It gives you the five C's of survival. An overview on your pack. Why you need a, a woolly blanket, a pack brace, a pack uh, basket, your trunk line, and your heavy sack. Then your everyday carry for traveling through the woods. He's also got an area called the tools. It teaches you about your knife, your knife safety, your baton, your note, your shirt cutting, your saw, your safety of the saw. I mean, you know your safety. You know what I'm talking about? Safety. You don't want to cut your hand off. That's where he's educated with all these degrees hadn't learned. They don't never pay attention. That's why I don't call them educated. Axe, grid. Safety handle and the use, splitting wood with safety. You know, you college degree guys, y'all really ain't that good at that. And you shouldn't be making no money because you ain't no good at nothing. We're playing on a computer. And then it tells you about falling limbs, breaking limbs, bucket knots, baton axe, axe care and sharpening, and more safety tips. And then he's going to teach you about your cordage, your rope, the webbing, the knots, the mule tape, how to make natural cordage. See, that's pretty good, man, because, you know, that's the old school. You know, you're dating them. Probably your grandpa didn't want you to know that because you, you, went, you were too educated. Uh, how to find water, containers, and how to cooking tools, how to make them. How to make a cup, how to make a bowl, how to make a hanger, like a clothes hanger. How to rotate meat on a fire. And blankets, if you have to. He also teaches you how to do coverage. And I mean coverage, making tents, four different kind of tarps. Uh, using camic, oil clothes, uh, clothing pads, emergency thermal blankets, how do you use them with safety. Forget about it, you educated people, you know. Y'all got a brain, but you can't read. Uh, then it teaches you about combustion. From a lighter, freon rod, steel and iron, knife, knife blade, fraction in the knife, stick, your bow, Okay, the other thing he's teaching is how to set up a camp. The four W's. You know, and Grandpa didn't be teaching us that. You, you didn't pay attention. Camping hygiene. Oh, I forgot. Y'all, San Francisco people like shitting on the, on the road, so you got to remember that. Okay, starting material for fire. Fire layout. Long fire. Dakota fire pit. Meaning you're supposed to do both, like I said. Water in one area and water on the other area so you don't burn the roots because roots usually can sink up back to the earth. When it comes out of the ground, there's another fire. That's why firemen don't like that damn shit. <coughs> How to navigate a territory. Trees in the four season of resources. From a willow to a poplar to a maple. You gotta know your trees. And Grandpa will be doing that. Y'all young people didn't ever learn that because you was out chasing something thinking you was educated. 
how to make traps and process the food. And then you've got improvement of the land traps. Fishing bait and fishing traps. You didn't know about that. So this Pathfinder book is a good book. It's a Bushcraft 101 by Dan Cranberry. It gets a thousand star from me because he does it pretty damn good. And he's got over 50 years of experience when you start really looking at it. Or it could be because he was in the military, but yet his grandpa showed him shit before he went to the military. Oh my good, he was, he's learning stuff from the 1919s, you know. Y'all don't know nothing about history. You know, you're deleting it because you don't know nothing about history. And you're going to be needing it. Big time. But the book is real good. It's a New York Times bestseller. Anybody don't like New York Times trying to rate books? Them educated guys misspell their own words and say they're doing it right. But this book is a thousand stars. And it's usually around 16 to 17.99. But it is a good book by Dan Cranberry. I would recommend it for y'all because you need it. And the book don't weigh that much. It's got 266 pages. 266 pages. It's a great book. My review and the way I worked through it. it took me a month to go through that book and test everything. So I'm saying it is a good book. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe.